I've gathered all my supplies, some 4th of July decorations, my garden urn that I use for a lot of things, and I'm going to just put a paver down in that to give it a little weight. And then I'm going to wedge some styrofoam, really wedges, down in there really well. And then I'm gonna trim and fill in right around here. Now, the dowel that I painted red is going to get pushed all the way down in here. And I want to make sure it stays straight, which might be a little bit of a problem with my paver that's at an angle. I have like a seven and an inch, maybe a styrofoam ball, and I'm just going to push it right over the end, not all the way through, but I want it to be pretty sturdy there. Actually, I think I can feel it coming through there. Now I have that garland that I said you probably might need to fluff, and it's fluffing itself a little bit. And I'm just going to take the garland and some S pins or greening pins. They're shaped like an S on the end. They have two points. And I'm going to start attaching this to my styrofoam ball. And I'm just going to cover the entire ball with this garland to start with. And then I'm gonna add some additional patriotic decorations to it. You want to make sure that you put enough of these pins in that your garland's not going to loosen up and show the styrofoam. See over here? You want to keep picking it up like this and make sure that all of those parts are secure to your styrofoam ball. And there you have it, a ball that almost looks like a little firecracker already. I found these cute little bows at the Dollar Tree two of them for $1.25, and I'm going to put two of these like little bow ties right underneath my ball to get started with the rest of our decorations. They have twist ties on the back, so they're really easy to attach, and I'm just gonna attach them back to back so we don't have any front or any back that our decoration is festive all the way around. Isn't that cute? Okay. I picked up a whole bunch of other decorations, but I think I like these balls the best. I'm gonna do the same thing as I did before. I'm gonna use an S pin and just put it through the top of that. And then I'm gonna find a spot where I can see the styrofoam. And I'm gonna start adding these to my ball. attach a few of these light ornaments also. I'm not going to use the string. I'm going to use the holder on the top and I'm just going to add probably, I probably will stick maybe these silver stars and I'm going to go around. I should have cut these off before. I'm going to cut off those little strings so that they don't show. And these are the cute little lights that I bought. Now, there's so much red, white, and blue on here, I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see them. So you could always use um, regular twinkle lights. These lights are made for outdoors, so they will be fine outdoors, and you can see the battery um, pack comes with a little rubber seal, and these snap down. It doesn't have one of those little slide things. So here we go, there they are. Look at them, they kind of sparkle. So let's go ahead and add these. And I want to hide the battery pack down in the bottom. So I'm gonna stick that down in the bottom. And then I'm going to put the wire before the lights. I'm gonna secure it down here. And then I'm gonna wrap my little lights all the way around my dowel. And I hope I want them to show up on here pretty well. So I'm going to, and I, I feel like I have to turn them around so that they show. But I'm gonna wrap these all the way around. So you can see I've wrapped them all the way around my dowel and now I'm arrived up at the top. 
I'm just going to wrap these around my ball in a random pattern. Now we still have the bottom of this to deal with. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and take another one of these red, white, and blue garlands and my S-pins. This is why I wanted styrofoam in here because I want to be able to stick it into the, secure it into the styrofoam. And I'm just going to wrap this around and fill this all at the bottom, securing it so it doesn't blow out to the styrofoam. And if you wanted, you could paint your pot red, white, and blue. This is something I use year round, so I didn't want to paint this. I think it will look fine on my front porch and we're all fluffed up. And here is my 4th of July, quick and easy, cute little patriotic topiary. And it coordinates so well with the wreath on my front door. So I am ready for all the patriotic holidays this summer. And here we are. It's a dark and stormy night here, but you can see how fun those lights are. Isn't that fun? It's like my own little fireworks show out front. I hope you like this project and it inspires you to do something similar for your summer patriotic holidays. Thanks for watching. The first thing I'm going to do is turn one of my bowls upside down. This is something we're gonna do on all of the bowls. Obviously, we're gonna take our tag off and then I'm going to take my glue gun. You may have seen me do this in the past with Shatterproof Christmas ornaments. And I'm gonna turn it up just so it's better for you to see, but I would like, I like to work on it straight down like this. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna gently push with a hot, te high temp, old glue gun that you don't use for gluing and it's going to melt a hole right through. And like I said, I will turn it sideways so you can see what it does, but it's going to melt a hole right through our bowl. See, there we go. So, so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna make a circle of these holes that are gonna to connect together because I want it to be, um, I want the big part in the middle about the size of a quarter to come all the way out. Do not press down too hard. If you do, you will crack your bowl.